Hi guys and welcome to TechBased. In this video, we will talk about tabs in File Explorer, a feature that was requested for a long time and we will finally get this feature in Windows 11. This can be easily enabled and comes as a hidden feature so far, so it wasn't officially announced by Microsoft, but it is hidden in their official build 200572. If you enjoy videos like these where I show you how to enable different hidden features from Windows 11, don't forget to leave a like down below and also subscribe to the TechBased channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. Before continuing with the video, a message from this video's sponsor. This video is sponsored by VAP SCD Key. VAP SCD Key is a platform where you can buy cheap Windows licenses and also Office licenses. They now have a great discount period and you can buy a Windows 10 Pro OEM for a very good price. Note that you can always use the Windows 10 Pro OEM licenses to upgrade for free to Windows 11 or you can even activate a Windows 11 copy using this license that will be valid for a lifetime. All you need to do to buy it is to click on Add to Cart and then go to the shopping cart. Card. Proceed checkout and then type in here the promotion code TB25 for a 25% discount and Windows 10 Pro OEM will be only $16. You can then submit the order and you'll have safe and easy to use payment methods such as PayPal and credit card. To activate your Windows operating system, just search for activation settings in the search box, click on change near product key, enter the product key that you received from the APACD key, click on next and then on activate. In a few seconds, you're have your Windows copy activated and also you will now be able to use the personalization settings and options from Windows, whether it would be 10 or 11. As I've said before, you can use the Windows 10 Pro license to upgrade for free to Windows 11 or even activate a Windows 11 operating system. If you're interested, you can also buy Office 2019 and you can use the same coupon code for a 25% discount and the final price of Office 2019 will be $48. All the links necessary will be in the description down below so go ahead and check out VIP SCD key let's get on with the video so as we all use File Explorer, we sometimes feel the need to open multiple windows of File Explorer and that will make us less efficient because we will have to switch between windows and stuff like that. So a feature that was highly requested is the tab support for File Explorer. I remember since Windows 7 this was requested and I think finally Microsoft has listened to their users. So in this video, let me show you first how you can enable the tabs in File Explorer. Then we're going to talk about how you can use them and of course some bugs that you can encounter in this build because this is not finished yet. It is of course a preview version and a hidden one. And of course I'll also show you how to remove the tabs feature in File Explorer if somehow for you it is very bugged. Until Microsoft officially announces it, you can disable them. But let's see how you can enable it first. As you're used to in these videos, we are using Vive Tool, which is a great tool that you can use to enable hidden features in Windows 11. Make sure to leave them a star on GitHub if you have a GitHub account. You're gonna have the download link in the article down below in the description. Just go and click on that link and then download the latest version.zip. Go into the location where that file downloaded, double click on it, and then click on Extract All if you're using the default Windows 11 extracting tool. Click on Browse here and locate System32. So go into this PC, local this C, Windows, and then scroll down to System32. Select System32 and then click on Select Folder and then Extract. And as your account controller, you're going to have to click on Continue and then you should be good to go. The components of Vive Tool were successfully extracted into the System32 location. What you need to do next, open up CMD as administrator. So for that, just open up the search box and then type in here CMD, right click on CMD and then click on Run as administrator. On your account control, click on Yes. In CMD, you're going to have to copy and paste the following command which is this one, which will basically enable this hidden feature. The command will be in the article down below in the description as well. So copy and paste it from there and then press enter. You should receive this message successfully sets feature configuration. And now you will need to restart your operating system for the changes to take effect. After the restart, if you open up File Explorer, you will see that we have the new tabs in the File Explorer. And we can just open by clicking on the plus button and we will have multiple tabs. So you can go into a certain location in a certain tab. So for example, example, Windows, and you have other tabs where you are located in music and other tabs in documents, for example, and this is really useful. It will increase the productivity in Windows altogether. As I've said, this is a hidden feature, so it is pretty bugged at the moment. You can encounter various different bugs. So for example, a user from Twitter reported that if you open up the terminal and you type in the location where you're currently in the file explorer, you will encounter a weird bug. And of course, other bugs can be encountered as well. But the most important thing is that Microsoft is finally 
currently working on this. We had the file alternative, which I talked about in a different video before, but of course it is always nice to have the default Windows 11 experience and also to have tabs in the file explorer by default in Windows 11. We don't have many settings regarding the tabs, so you can only create new tabs and close them at the moment. If you right click, nothing happens, but you cannot even move the tabs between one another. So we still cannot switch the tabs between one another, as I've said, but that's no issue because Microsoft, of course, work on this. I'm sure about that. So I'm looking forward to hearing from you in the comments down below what you think about this new feature. Now, let me show you how you can remove this. So for example, it is pretty bugged for you and you're using the latest build from the dev channel. Well, to remove this, all you need to do is to open up CMD as administrator. Again, right click on CMD and then click on run as administrator on user account control, click on yes. And here you can use the following command. Basically, it is the same command only add config was changed to Dell config. You're going to have this command as well in the article down below in the description. Just press enter and you're going to see the message successfully set feature configuration. Make sure to restart your operating system for the changes to take effect yet again. After the restart, you will see that the file explorer is back at its default. So you can use the default file explorer until Microsoft officially announced this feature if it is pretty bugged for you. So this was the video for today. I hope you liked it. And if you did, don't forget to leave a like down below and also subscribe to the tech base channel don't forget that the download link for via tool and the commands that i've used in this video are in the article down below in the description until next time i was emmanuel from tech based i wish you all a nice day